So now I'll come over here and select to create grading. It asked me to select the feature line, so I'll select on that feature line we created. I then want to select the grading side, and that's the side that I want the grading to take place on, and that's the outside of it. Apply to the entire length. Yes, I'm going to apply grading. And my cut slopes are 2 to 1. I'll make my fill slopes 3 to 1. And it creates the grading for that first pad. So I'll continue to do that for the other three pad sites. And then the last one. Okay. And once I'm done, I've now created a grading group that's a collection of these four pad sites here. A couple of things that I might want to do is to go ahead and create the infill grading, and that's to add the tops to each one of these pads. So coming back down, I have a create infill grading. And all I have to do is just select inside each one of them. And you see it places a marker there. Now, let's check the volumes to see if I may need to raise or lower some of these pads. So under my tool space, you see I now have this added as a grading group. And I can go to Properties, and it gives me my volumes, my cut volume and fill volume. So you see that I've got a little bit more cut than fill. So what I can do is I can select on one of those grading groups. And this little line here, that's part of the grading group rather than the surface. And I have an option here for grading volume tools. And what I want to do is I want to use the entire group to, well, it actually already found it. I had selected it. I'm sorry. And what I want to do is I want to have it balance this uh, thing automatically, this grading group automatically. And I can also do it by any amount that I want to. I can raise and lower it and check the volumes. But I have a choice here that allows me to automatically raise and lower to balance it. I set my required volume to zero. And it's going through the iterations required to do that. And it tells me that it raised it 0.465, well, you know, basically a half a foot. And now my site balances. So that's a nice, neat little tool there. So now I have it set to be balanced. And you can see how the effectiveness of the grading group works. And again, just to point out uh, how the interactiveness uh, between the objects in a grading group works, well, let's say I want to move this building pad over a little bit so that it's interacting with this building pad. I can simply use the AutoCAD Move command, select my feature line, because again the grading is tied to that feature line, and move it over. Let me move it over a little bit more. You see how the two gradings are being combined and working with each other to create a swell between my building pads here. So everything within a grading group is tied to the other objects within it. And then just as I can do with so many other things, if I don't like the way something looks, I can simply use the AutoCAD undo command to change it back so that I'm back to the way it was. And this is a great tool for doing this type of work, pad sites within a subdivision or building pads within a uh, commercial development.